you for uh, TikTok give me this opportunity to speak. So um, I want to share it's a project that we built in 2018. It's an online delivery tool that we want to build. And uh, although this is my topic today, but let, later if in the Q&A people want to know more about how we use technology to um, tackle coronavirus in East Asia is also welcome to ask. But I think I still want to look back to this journey that how we try to build an online deliberation tool and fail. So um, the project is called sense.tw. We want, you know, you can make a subdomain of make sense.tw or nonsense.tw. So it's an issue policy mapping tool. And a little bit self introduction. I was the former, I was the product manager of Sense.tw, and also a long time participant of Gov Zero community from Taiwan. And I also want to give you an introduction on Gov Zero because we are a quite unique community. I know on the uh, agenda introduced Gov Zero as an organization, but we actually, most of us see ourselves as a community that no one can represent. So what I'm going to say is my own interpretation on GovZero. I'm not represent this community and other participants may have different point of view. So I think GovZero is a civic tech community that have multi-center. So no one center to decide what to do what, and it's a project-based community. And it's also, uh, my understanding of GovZero CV Tech is not to make government sexy again or make government technology better, but it's from it's very citizen driven and very activism. So sometimes we collaborate with protest group on the street, and sometimes some project collaborate with the government, and we have we really value open collaboration, decentralized, open at this forward. Uh, all projects are open source and everybody can contribute and have online to offline collaboration. So that leads to the project of Sense.tw. It's a quite unique project that um, the government find want to find some people in GovZero community to build an online deliberation tool. And for if people join the last session, uh, Alex analyzed uh some limitation of online deliberation tool so at that time i was so excited to join this thing and my boss hai Shen, he built a team as a startup team to build a new product so we have one designer three engineers and i'm the part i was the product manager and however you can see the project results i'm listing here is not only a digital product we at the end of the day we need to do write research report write guidelines and host meetup instead of just build a digital tool so i will explain why we need to do so many things a part is we need to create scenarios for the tools another reason is that we need to fit the expectation from the government so First of all, as a product manager, you need to understand the stakeholders and their goals. So, uh, sorry, let me very briefly introduce this one. Um, so in Taiwan, this is a government sponsored project and we have a board of science and technology. They have three projects and one project lead by the society and technology communication team is they want to have a bottom up deliberation on 2030 technology visions of Taiwan and they cut the deliberation into online offline and extra meeting and my team we need to do the online deliberation part however the vision of the 2030 meet assembly, citizen assembly was soon cancelled because of political reason so then we become like um, we need to have a bottom up um, communication platform for technology policy. So idea is that my team idea is that for online deliberation, we actually value more as um, the online community, those people who are really good at technology, but they are not the professors 
uh, in university or they are not the staff from large company like Google or Facebook, that normally the government would invite them to join the technology policy meeting process. So we want to build that bridge from for online communities and the government. And the questions will be how to collect and organize and find insights from uh, the scattered information online. And hmm. so, and then we also research on the existing mechanism and wait i'm sorry there's a slide missing um yeah i don't know why it's missing oh okay so this is what the government see they are like to finding the the lucky one in all the online discussion they couldn't find the inside and those discussion are on so many different channels Facebook, Twitter, uh, in Taiwan, BBS forum. So they, when they say bottom up discussion, they actually want, they organize external insights and they actually don't care about the tools we are using or we are building, although we see ourselves as a product team. So then we research on what are the existing mechanism and where are the gaps. So uh, this is a very brief introduction. Um, um on um, the Taiwan online participation. So join the TW is more like on the top left. It's an online petition uh, online petition platform. And then after 5,000 petition, you will go to the government and the government needs to respond. And our digital minister, Audrey Tan, she uh, founded a participation officer network in the government to respond to that. And as another famous project, Coffee Taiwan, it's more in the middle that the citizen and government can both initiate discussion on it. And we also have some uh, national assembly on specific topic like energy or judicial reform. So we don't want to build another platform, like just another online forum for deliberation. So this is a petition website, online comments, just give you a look at it. And also um, in the Open Government Participation Officer Meeting uh, established by Audrey Tan, they use uh, online posts to break down the policy into like problems, risks, resources, solutions, questions, and to start a multi-stakeholder discussion. And also Paulus is using v Taiwan. So many tools are used in Taiwan existing online participation method already. So what else can we do? Our um, conclusion is that we want a deeper and informed discussion because usually in online forum, people maybe just live like two sentence or less than 100 words to say their opinion. And we want to focus on extra meeting because our scope is on technology policy like nuclear power plant, or AI, uh, national AI strategy. And we want to bring the technology communities inside. For example, people who know blockchain maybe are the startup people instead of the tra traditional semiconductor companies in Taiwan who have a larger voice in the government and have better connections. So then uh, our tour starting from testing annotation tour on um, expert consultation meeting. Uh, sorry, that's a little bit fat. So we modify an open source software called Hypothesis. And the idea is that you can make annotations on a document. So we testing in the expert uh, meeting. So the idea is that when the government wants to have a meeting and invite uh, external experts to join the meeting, they the expert can comment on the meeting document in advance and they can put reference and their suggestions on it. So everyone to participate in the meeting can be more prepared. But no one actually uses it. And one reason is that those, those documents are sent only like three days before the meeting. The expert don't have time to you know prepare for it. And the second is just expert usually to make a 
point. They are not going to discuss. They are they already have their opinion. So our team also asks ourselves: Does the tool only serve for the government use, or a deliberation tool should be a wider use that for more citizens? And what else can we do besides annotation? So that gives us to uh we want to re-identify challenges to generate community discussion and it took us a whole week uh using google design spring to do that and so we draw this technology policy making process in taiwan sorry it's in chinese but uh the middle part is the expert meeting and the outside part is we want to help before the expert meeting in the government, how can online community uh, form and organize their opinions? So that will be the questions turning to be how to organize and input technology community constructive insight in early policy making process. So basically is when we talk to the communities like uh, the drone players or like people working in AI or people working technology arts um, they don't know how government works and the government felt that they don't know where to find them because they are not a foundation and they are not a company so we want our tool to be a platform that the community can organize their opinions themselves and give to the government and so we want the discussions to base on reference because like wikipedia or online we really rely on hyperlink and we want to break down arguments and support information so that people don't mix all the uh, arguments together and we want to have a visual concept map so well the idea is cool but it's a little bit complicated so we keep the original annotation one but instead of only annotate one document, we allowed you to annotate several documents and make your annotation like um, you, when the highlight here become a node or a car on this concept map. This is not a mind map because it's like an online post-it with reference. So you can imagine that you're reading a book you are reading the book and then you highlight one a book and you take that highlight into a post-it on the wall and then later you can link uh, those highlight and your notes on different reference onto a visual map so we use this like discuss like public money public code and yeah we we build this part up but still no one use it because it's so hard to understand it's so hard to use people asking questions like um for this map, where should I start to look at it? So we realized that we need to create our own use cases and scenarios. So for example, we use this to organize all look of zero projects for the past five years. And we also give a discussion framework for people to generate online, uh, online not simultaneously uh collaboration so uh people can follow like like online comments they don't have to discuss at the same time but they can put a post it at different time follow the structure so it will be like this and we also organize offline meetup that uh when people discussing we drawing uh the concept map in real time on the screen so that people in offline discussion, when other people are speaking, they can comment and put the reference on the map as well. And also we do this to the TV debates, uh, live streaming debates on the nuclear power plant uh, construction. So like this. And the good news is after creating the scenarios, uh, someone started to use it, and mostly are the students under 22 or 25 years old. They really like this new idea and more people read and understand it, but we still not do it user-friendly enough, and we had no time because it's a one-year government project and uh, we are running out of time. And still, visual concept map is a new thinking model. That's why the young people accept it more 
and the older generation felt it's very complicated to understand. So then uh, we have to write it up and write report and research paper. And now because our government funding is closed, you couldn't find our website, you can only find our GitHub because uh, we don't have the money to pay the servers anymore. So at least we, we have some research, like we really research how the technology communities and how the activists in Taiwan doing their advocacy and how do they interact with the government. So we leave resources like Persona Journey Map and uh, this one on the screen is the surface blueprint. And so the last three minutes, I want to share the lesson we learned. First is, um, so, sorry, I, I try to squeeze too many things here. It's the goals and timeline are so different for our team and the government. So for the government, they have an agenda and they keep changing it. And for our team, we want to do a age of software de development, but the government doesn't take us as a product team. They take us more as the people to help them to collect what online community uh, think. So the government wants a pipeline, a SOP that they can follow, or they want some magical data analysis or AI tool that they can just use one click of a software and then this software will help them to analyze thousands of words on the internet and make it into understandable reports for them. Unfortunately, those things don't exist because the current data science can only tell you that uh, people disagree with this policy, they're angry at that, they support this, but they couldn't tell you that how did you make a new strategy of AI education in Taiwan? And our team at that time, we want to build an infrastructure. We want to build a models for the citizens to discuss and mobile themselves instead of collect the uh, opinions for the government. So at the end, we need to finish our KPI. So we manually collect um, 50 online communities discussion topics on Twitter, Facebook, and Telegram, and making a report to the government to close this case. So just a lot of mistakes I have made is also on tour development and also on project. I think we set the project scope very wrong and doesn't have, you know, have a mutual understanding with our sponsor, which is a government agency. And it's also very hard to build a tool that you want to make it use for citizens instead of the government because activists actually don't trust the tools that sponsored by the government. Um, they are worried that um, we may censor the information on it. And also on tour development, we put too much time on user research instead of increase our usability and do more iteration. And also another very important finding is that it's really hard to build a specific online deliberation tool. Actually, a tool built for business scenario and used by many people like Zoom or like uh, XMind or other tools are better for this purpose. So uh, we still do something. And uh, something is we leave some knowledge to the communities and to the government. And we also help to build a digital capacity in the government, like teaching them how to use Google Drive or how to do the online remote meeting, like what we're doing now. And we introduce how to participate in politics and technology policy process to the technology people. And sorry for a long presentation. Uh, some takeaways here. So first is I think it's important to have a mutual understanding and instead of a reasonable project scope with the government. And the second is user research does help. But I think testing and iterations are more important. And then for every new tools, if especially for new tools in democracy and in policy field, people are not that willing to try new technologies. So create use cases to demo demonstrate that is very important. And lastly is, although our project failed, but you can still find all our design and our code open source on GitHub. So at least we still have some impacts and 
there are some friends when they are building new tools, they're looking to our research. So yeah, that's my presentation and thank you for your listening. And as I say again, um, also welcome questions um, coronavirus in East Asia region.